んですけれども。Measuring the timings, what do you need? Crankshaft pulled in the piston. You don't need the rings. You would not need the clips. And you just remount the cylinder again, with or without bottom gasket. You just have to consider that in your calculation. Fix the cylinder. Two bolts are enough. I like to use old primary springs. They just work for the seven. They don't work for the eight millimeter. This is the wrong one. And there's that my lazy guy. There's an old screw in there. You should measure it where the piston bolt sits. And it sits here, so you measure at this spot. Without bottom gasket, it seems to be. 0.6, measure three times. And you can take the average. 0.6. 0 0.6 it is. We also want to measure the intake timings so we can mark the engine case where it has to be opened and to mark the crankshaft where it has to be cut so first thing we do is I usually take a knife finding out where the intake the original ends it is here here it closes it opens here and this is the end of the rotary valve pad. So we have three marks opening, sorry, closing, opening, and the maximum. That's the bottom dead end, exhaust port, side ports, transfer ports, and you see they open, and this is the top dead end. We measured it before, it's 0 0.6, this edge here. And the piston moves a lot, so I always hold it like that, put the fingers in, and then I measure at the cylinder. You turn the crankshaft cheek, that it just does not open. Twisting the crankshaft that the intake already opens and then measure how much is the piston below. You have to really hold the cheek and then you measure Forty-five point zero. Is that true? No, it's not. Well, 
that's the Stadler side and this is the cheek that closes the intake and you put it to the end of the intake and then you measure the cylinder how much is the piston below cylinder top hold the cheek, hold the crankshaft you see it is very very sensitive Nine point nine. One hundred twelve forty five. How much is it? One fifty seven. Original intake timings. If the crankshaft is good and you have the 0.5 rotor valve distance, you go up to 200 to 210 degrees. It's around 50 degrees more. Let's see how much we want to go to the back. Early opening. I would suggest 34 millimeters, let's say here. We got 49 millimeters minus 0.6 is 48,4 millimeters. And, and this is 128 degrees. For 72 degrees we have 23.85 and we have the measurement here and now you turn the piston till it reaches this value here. This means Here is 72 degrees. A nice little trick to mark the cheek down there. I always scratch it. Measuring the exhaust port. Measure inside the port. Transfer ports, the same. Forty eight point. Well, I'll see you in a little bit.